I know. Well, I'll have to go home someday. You know that. Now, I want to thank Merritt for bringing back John Holt. I was uh, at the ceremony in Quincy, celebrating his existence and offering him to the next world. This was written uh, for Reverend Clayton of St. John's Church, and I think that it's appropriate for John Holt as well, because in a way, anyone who's uh, involved with bringing the rest of us to a new awakening, awareness about possibilities, is indeed a minister of Christ. Once. Once it happened that a shabby young man huddled in the doorway after finishing his cup of soup was warned and he daydreamed past that moment, past, past the personal torment and suicidal present to a kind of beckoning vision. So simple and peaceful it seemed. Would Oh God, would that he could be one day a lean brown old man, slowly pedaling his fat wheeled bike in the lilting green between towns. Would, would that the road would go on so effortlessly past fields of softly swinging grass, the innocent cows and sheep, the tumble down stone fences all overgrown with tansy and chicory the light drone of insects humming, might that bird calls rippling through summer afternoon would mingle with vesper bells from the valley, and his soul would resonate in harmony with the maker. Oh, such a splendid enterprise, the slender, sharp-muscled legs propelling the old bike through the geometric landscapes, he, mindless of all but the beauty and the true meaning of things, slowly churning up small hills, then gliding down with the rush of wind toward the next long curve, past deserted farmhouse, the gaunt doorless barn, then for miles and miles beside the curving river, with gentle bends left and right, riding, riding, riding so easily in that perfect peace just before twilight, when a sort of shimmering delicacy envelops even the hawthorn and the oak, the sprays of field flowers gathering a last golden glow of benediction for the descending sun. And he, he riding, riding on, a blessed old man at peace with all, and the bike following the snake blood weave of road a mile after effortless mile, until, until some moment when the moon begins to appear after a longest afternoon, and the bike seems faster, then even faster, now passing telegraph poles within seconds, the wheezy old wheels now a whir, and suddenly, and suddenly, no sound at all. The sainted old man, still slowly pedaling, accelerating up and through the air, the highest thrusts of pine trees already behind him, looking up toward the beckoning stars, majestic galaxies, his frail form still bent over the handlebars, well past the last wisps of cloud, on that other road now, on that great beam of growing light, toward the valley of the saints the house of the Lord. Thank you.